In general, images are formatted for one of two output types, web or print. So once you have chosen your output, more details about the specific output settings like file format, resolution, and color mode can be adjusted. Web outputs include images formatted for digital displays. These displays can be tablets like the iPad or Kindle Fire, a smartphone like an iPhone or Google Pixel, or your computer monitor. Typically, web output is referring to websites designed to be viewed on a variety of digital displays, anything displayed with light. Printed outputs include both commercial and personal printing. Commercial printing options include, but are not limited, to offset lithography, screen printing, digital printing, either inkjet or toner-based, which is laser printing, flexography, and so on. Personal printing options include inkjet and laser printing performed on personal home printers. A good tip to always follow, work backwards. Your intended output will be key to dictate all of your image file setup needs. And never wait until you're finished with a project to decide what, you, what your output is going to be. By this time, it's too late. Let's talk about web and print formats. When you create or open a file in Photoshop, you have the option of choosing from a wide range of different file formats. It is very versatile in what it can create and open and how it edit, edits files. Some file formats are best for web outputs because their structure allows for compression. This makes small file sizes, which is really good when loading images on the web. Compression can either be lossy, which means data is deleted, or lossless, where data is not deleted. JPEGs, PNGs, and GIF files are examples of compression files, which are really good for web file formats. JPEGs have what's called lossy compression. As we mentioned, data is deleted, which means pixels just get thrown away. These files work well with gradients and tonal changes, like you find in photographs but do not work well with solid colors. JPEGs also can't handle transparency. GIFs have lossless compression. They work well with solid colors, but do not work well with gradients or photographs. These files support transparency and contain 256 or less colors with limited gamut. These files can be formatted with animation. PNGs have lossless compression too. They work well with gradients, photographs, and, and solid, col solid colors. They support transparency and also can be formatted with animation. When you're preparing a file to output digitally, web file formats like JPEGs, GIFs, and PNGs are great options. And they really only should be used for digital-based outputs. They're really, they are really a bad choice when you are considering to format your images for printing. Printed outputs require large file sizes and little or no compression. Some file formats to choose when printing include high resolution PDF files, TIFF files, and EPS files. In addition, native file formats like Photoshop, which is the all familiar .psd, Illustrator, or .ai file, and InDesign, which is .indd file, all of these files can also be used when printing because they don't contain compression. PDFs can be formatted for either print or web. When formatting for print, be sure to choose print PDFs as opposed to interactive PDFs, which are for digital outputs. TIFF files handle rasterized images and images with gradients and tonal values really well, while EPS files are good for images primarily composed of vector art. They allow the vector art to remain in place when saving and moving files from one program to another.